of his. Jarno Kersler on the left has had a pretty quiet day, really. Perhaps just a touch out of his league at the moment as Finland's number three athlete. Well, they were both off and away at similar times there, so they'll probably take exactly the same start time. Uh, we do have two referees, one for each, to make sure there's no cheating at the beginning. Now, you can't bend the elbows. Got to keep those straight. Can't raise it too high up, or uh, again, that's just making it a little bit easier. Again, leaning back is another little cheat the referees are watching out for. But the big shake is on for Kersler, and at the 42nd mark, he's starting to go. He's gone. Frampton. Stoic, holding firm. 50 seconds. This is brilliant from the Pompey man. Oh, leaning back now. He's got called for it. And when he went forward, he had to go. 58.12 seconds. That certainly puts him into the lead. And uh, that may well be a winner. Around about the minute is very good with this weight. Blakaitis, I bet he's tremendous at this. Those chunky shoulders and short arms. Agris Koselniks. Well, he's a, a much taller, longer-armed athlete than the likes of Blakaitis. In theory, that should be making it more difficult. Well, you've just got to get yourself in the zone. Just dig in. Find a happy place, as they say. Whatever you do, don't think about what you're doing. And there's Moster, who's keeping his eye on Blakaitis. Blakaitis trying just to lean back a little bit. Whatever you can get away with, you will do, of course. Lean back too much and you're in trouble. And look who's gone, Kaselnix just got attacked by the shakes there. Coming up to 50 seconds, 58 to beat Frampton, let's remember. Holding this firm, this is great. Couple more seconds and he's done it. Our new leader then is Plakaitis of Lithuania. Well past the minute mark. And the crowd are getting into this. This is tremendous stuff. Oh, he goes at 69 seconds. In the end, the referees were shouting at him to lean forward. One pair to go, it's Wildauer of Austria, who uh, has just confessed to us he's not the best, and Heinler of Estonia, who's just a pit bull of an athlete, and I imagine will be digging in hard here. Well, it's Heinlo's up first. I'm sure the referees will have clocked that properly. There's already a bit of a shake on Wildauer. Well, he's our leader overall in the tournament. With After this, there'll just be one event to go. So, Valdauer must try and hang in here as long as possible. At least get maybe fourth or fifth place. That would be good. If he drops it now, it'll be last and a real disaster for him. He's getting shouted at by the refs. Don't start to lean back. He's got to keep his head up. 42, 43 seconds. Oh, Valdau just starting to creep back now. There you go, heads back up again. Doesn't want to get in trouble. Well, this is amazing. He's going to come up past Frampton with both men chasing a minute. And in the end, he beats Heinler. Well, I did not expect that from Martin Valdau. He does not beat Frampton, actually. But that's good enough for third. So Valdau in third, Frampton second, Blakaitis in first, and that's a real face saver for Rob Frampton with one event to go. Blakaitis equal on points now with Valdau. What a finish we've got here, and Heinle and Kaselnix are close too. Good battle for third. Final event here in Finland, and what a brutal event it is as well. It's the medley. You have to pick these 120 kilo boxes up and load them up there onto the four foot platform. They weigh 120 kilos. 
then run and pick up a sack, 90 kilos, again up there, then 100, then 110, then 120 kilo sack to finish. We're giving him 90 seconds and hopefully someone will do it. Well, between these two, they're equal in first place, both on 42 points. Now, Martin, can you win this? The old guy against the young wild, our, yes, I will win. There you go. Well, old guy, can you win this? Yeah, yeah. I, I wear it. I wear it strongly this event and I think and win. Let's see what happens. What a way to finish. Couldn't get any harder. So Rob Frampton is out. A little text home to say it's all gone wrong, honey. Rauno Heinler against Cassell next. Now this is absolutely the battle for uh, a world's strongest man place. Reinler just has to stay ahead of Kaselnix here, and he will be going to the world's strongest man contest in West Virginia later in the year. And he's doing exactly what he needs to do. Oh, look at this. He is just a brilliant all rounder, but look at the medley. I bet this is the top time at the end of today. So quick, Heinler. And Kaselnix, the giant power lifter is starting to grind to a halt. Heinler on the last sack then. Look at this, the sprint home, so much faster than Kinselnix. And the time, 39.04 seconds. He's booked his place to the world's strongest man. What a first debut at Giants Live for Rhino Heinler. And he stays on to uh, politely support his uh, friend Kinselnix. Oh, we've had some great Estonians in the past, Tom Omit. But that's it for the Latvian. Three sacks is it, no time for him. Totally exhausted. Just not the right body shape, really, for uh, sprinting in the hot sun. Mon Valdau then up against Vidas Blakaitis, the youngster against uh, the old veteran warhorse in Blakaitis. So Blakaitis on the right, Valdauer on the left, and it's Blakaitis who's away first. Whoever wins, wins the competition. It's as simple as that. Blakaitis, <laughs> he's just unbelievable. But what happened there? He fluffed up the pickup. I said he gets nervous. He often makes mistakes, and he's just done a whopper there. Wildow then onto the last sack as Bakaitis loads the penultimate one for the victory. He's done it. Mon Wildauer of Austria has won the Giants live here in Finland. And it's been a long, long time since we've seen an Austrian winning a major international strongman contest. And at 23, he has a huge future in front of him. Well done to Bakaitis at 39 in second place. He qualifies for the world's strongest man. Well, let's have a look at the confirmation of times. Wildauer by a second ahead of Tommy Lotter, who put in a good performance at the end. Heinle in third. I thought it might have been better than that. Bakaitis down in fourth. Overall then by three points. Wildauer beats Bakaitis. Heinle guarantees himself third. Kaselnix sadly fourth. Martin, congratulations. Uh, first ever international win. You're going to World's Strongest Man, the works. Congratulations. It must just feel amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. It's, you know, when, when you have a dream and the dream comes true, pretty, pretty awesome. Just awesome. I mean, speaking to you before the show, you said top five is, is really your goal. Yeah. I mean, you've had injury problems and so many crazy strong guys. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, how much have you surprised yourself, and, and, and how have you got so good? Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty good day, and, and everything went well. So, yeah, just a good day. Well, next time we will be in Poltava, Ukraine. Join me, Colin Bryce, there. Till then, goodbye.